True for Survivalists here. Welcome back to the vault. This is part 25 of the um, How to Master the Wasteland on the game Fallout Shelter. As you can see, this is uh, becoming a fairly sizable vault. Um, this is the 25th time we've been in here, and it's, it's all going very well. Uh, we do have issues with the power. Uh, we're probably going to address that, but first things first, I'll let me click on all these things. And we've also got three people come back. We've got someone from the wasteland. We've got a the uh, a new firearm that's been made by the guys in the in the firearm workshop. And um, we've also got over here. We've got another another room that we've opened up. We're at 74 dwellers at the moment. So here we go. Great, that's a few caps for us. So, let's click on all these. That's a whole lot of a whole lot of caps for us. What type of gun do we make? Sawn off shotgun. And let's click on this to get the uh, new dweller dweller has arrived from the wasteland, Kathy Jenkins. The latest addition to our vault. She's got to get in line. We got three people come back from the wasteland who've been out scavenging for resources, and here we are in the wasteland. We got Barbara Bush, uh, granddaughter or the great great granddaughter of of uh, George Bush, maybe. <laughs> She's on 14 steam packs and 24 rad packs. Doing well. She's got lots of good good goods here. Uh, Catherine Miller on level 29, 20 stim packs and 20 rad packs. She's doing quite well too. Uh, Caroline Bush, level 32, down to three stim packs. Time to bring her back, so we'll recall her. She's uh, one of our better, one of our best, probably our best uh, character at the moment. And we got. David Crawford, level 19, he's on his way back. He's only got one stim pack left. We got Tyler Boyd. He's on his way back. And he's on eight stim packs and eight rad packs. And he's our highest level uh, character at level 50, our first level 50. So he's doing really well, so that's great. Oh, I can hear the um, mysterious stranger around there. Oh, um, We'll have to go and have a look and see if I can find him. He's not been the easiest guy to find lately. Ah, I think I missed him. That's alright. There's always another time. He always comes back. So, let's go through our, our, um, our goods that our, our people have brought back. First things first, I'll click on these again. Oh, I've got a wild ghoul, ghoul attack. I would like to show you a deathclaw attack and how to deal with it. Um, but I'll show you this attack, the wild, or the feral, feral ghouls. Here they go, they're just about to break through. That guy lost his head. Very good guys. Good work. Took care of that. It's a bit of drama. So, as you can see, this power is down which is causing some of these rooms to black out. And that's causing these rooms not to produce. So, it's really important to keep on on your, your, your three major resources which is power, food and water. So I've been wanting to upgrade this um, nuclear reactor and the upgrade 
is 6,000. So I'll do that now as we have 6,600. There we go. So that's that's the newly re you upgraded nuclear reactor, and you can see that that's what it looks like in there now. It's uh it's really pumping out the juice now. So that would be good. We should we should soon get on on top of um, our power generation. The other thing to do is to cycle these guys up into these rooms. Um, he's not adding anything so he's everyone in the room is at a higher level than him but this guy is in this room so off he goes we'll cycle a new guy in there and we've got plus one uh, on the power plant generation with with that little move so you, it's sort of one of your jobs you got to do all the time this one goes off in 26 seconds we should be over a little hump of um of power generation so in the meantime we will bring our guys in we'll start with this person collect the items this person too will collect their items and this person too will collect her items so that's it they're all in Joel has found their recipe in the wasteland it's a sci-fi outfit, so that's great. And there we go, we finally got the power up. Every single one of our, um, our rooms is, is all operating. These guys are coming, we'll, we might heal them up. Oops. Ah, put her in the wrong room wasn't supposed to happen. Um, now what we do is just put this person down here for a moment. And this person can go in here. And then I'll put her back. Sometimes you get your people mixed up. Acc accidentally get them in the wrong rooms. <laughs> it's a little bit annoying. But it's fairly easy to deal with. Now I'll bring this person in. I think I'll just put her in this uh, this room here for now. Now if she comes in, I'll I'll give her uh, an outfit and a weapon. Now we've got a few people here. A few of these are uh, these are offspring. That's why they don't yet have outfits, so I'll get them all outfitted up and weapons weaponed up. Don't want people walking around without. I heard that mysterious stranger, um, but I'm not seeing him. busy too. He always comes when I'm busy. I guess that's part of the game, isn't it? Yeah, just make sure everyone has a weapon. Looks like everyone's weaponed up. Mm. Best stats we got the three. Four to six or three to seven. I think that's everyone. This person's having to wander around. That's the people that come back from um, from the wasteland. They they go on a coffee break and they sort they sort of wander around. So 
uh, we'll probably get them working soon now we've brought in a lot of goods we'll see if we can craft something really good we've unlocked a weapon here too uh, looks like we do we have the the best weapon we got here is the AK-47 um, since we've gone through all the characters uh, just quickly have a look if you click on a, an, on one some, anyone and you click on the gun and then you go into here and go equipped you can see who's what weapons everyone's got and if, if there is anyone that doesn't have a weapon um, and then then you can decide to, to sort of recycle the weapons the ones that the extra weapons so everyone's got a weapon so that means what I'll do now is I'll now the ghouls are back they were here just before must be a bit of a, a bit of a ghoul party going on The end of those buggers. Troublemakers, aren't they? Try to get these guys fully healed because they're always your first line of defense. Now, back to what I wanted to do, which was well, I'll tell you what, I'll quickly go and have a look at this room that we've unlocked. We've unlocked the garden, that's great. So, the garden produces food. Um, it's more efficient than producing food than the uh, than the, um, the what do we have here? The restaurant, I think it is, or the diner. Um, but even better than when that is this one, the new cola bottler. So, as you can see here, we at eighty dollars, we'll get this new water water pur purification plant, <coughs> and then. At a hundred dollars, we'll be we'll have the final piece, which is the new cola bottler, and that will um, produce both food and water. So that's that's the ultimate. It produces you you you, you don't need uh, to have two different things. You don't need to have one for water and one for food. You can produce both at the same time with just this this a couple of these new cola bottlers. Um, so we're up to the now we're producing power of the nuclear reactor. And next, we'll be able to produce water with the water purification plant, which is a step above this this one that with a water treatment plant. So, and the other thing we haven't opened up yet is uh, this outfit. Uh, sorry, this the lounge, the theme workshop, the games room, the barber shop, and also right back here, the overseer's office. Um, so we I know it seems funny that I haven't haven't done the overseer's office but the reason is it's just so much easier to go on those missions if you've got really good dweller, dwellers high, high high specials um, if you, you know the experience is uh, the level is a level uh, you know level 40 or level 50 even and uh, and good out outfits and good weapons it just makes makes that a lot easier not struggling um, so you maximize your results by doing it this way keeping leaving the overseer's office for later in the once you've developed your, your vault and you got your your all your uh, characters of a higher level and with better weapons so back to what I was saying I was going to do um, I'm going to go through quickly go through the weapons now that we've we phased out pretty much all of these are pretty ordinary so we'll recycle all these and then what happens is we got more more junk and the, the more junk we got there's a chance we can make it even 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 better uh, even better weapon Now 
our outfits is the same. Um, and the ones I keep is the handyman jumpsuit, uh, the military fatigues, and the wasteland gear and the lab coats. Everything else we probably don't need. Uh, so we'll phase it all out. So that's pretty good. Phase out these two. So we can also phase out, do further, further more of that by um, going through the, the different outfits that I put on people, like some of these people with these, um, like this. This is uh, battle armor. I could change that to to something else. But let's see what we can make now in this in this workshop. Go to rare weapons, and you see we've opened up. We've only we haven't opened up anything actually. That's exactly the same choices as before. Unfortunately, what are we missing here to make some of these better weapons? We need we need the globe for this one. We need the shovel for this one. Um, we need three shovels for this one. So. We really need to keep our guys going out there. We'll build this AK-47 or assault rifle, whatever it is. Um, so we really need to send some more people out the wasteland and keep keep bringing back the goods so we can we can get into some of those better weapons. So for this episode. Um, that's great. We've done the upgrade of the of the power station. Uh, we've got that at a better rate now. Look, you can see the bar here is is a lot further down, and it looks like we're not struggling to produce power. Our water is getting a little bit lower, um, but we're still okay. Uh, so we won't do an upgrade there yet, and we probably could bring in the overseer's office soon. I'd like to have how many people we've got five people out in the wasteland I'll, I'll probably try to send another three people out probably off camera um, now to do that it's just the stim pack production uh, I like to send everyone out with at least uh, at least 25 stim packs and about 20 rad packs so take you just as, as you build these up it, every three minutes you get eight then you can send another person out. So that's sort of why I do that off camera because it's just a time thing. Um, and and uh, let's have a look at our objectives. So send six dwells out to the wasteland. We we'll send one more out. We'll get that. Uh, deliver twelve babies. We need five more babies. So I might do a bit of matchmaking off camera too. And craft four rare weapons. Well, we're crafting one more of those. Uh, that assault rifle, so that would bring us up to three daily report. We're at 91% A minus, so we're doing all right there. And would really like to get a Mr. Handy robot. Um, makes life a lot easier. He goes back and forth in these rooms, collects the resources for you. Also, he fights uh, any intruders that come in. So, it just it means there's a third, a third, uh, a third fighter. Defending the defending the door. Um, other than that, I think we're doing really really well, and uh, I think um, we will at probably to get to 80 dwells is going to be pretty soon uh, because I think we're on um, 75. So another five dwellers will get to 80. And we can go to 80 because we've got room for 88. And then we'll go to the, the last stretch to 100. And so that will probably, I, I would say by part 30, I think, maybe even before part 30 of this, this set, these uh, tutorials, I'll get to 
hundred dollars and have opened every single room and uh, so that will be sort of a tutorial of how, how in 40, 40 sessions of, of playing this game you can open every single room and um, and be ready to do to go on quests have some really good characters have your ability to build to train up characters and go on quests so uh, thanks for watching um, please like share and subscribe hit the bell icon leave a comment I'm happy to, to address any, any specific things that you might want me to address or or go through Got a bit of a whole lot of people in here so they're gonna take care of that really easily yeah